Jesus knows that he's going to have to go down to Jerusalem and to die. He goes up to the Mount of, Mount of the Tabor and he, he's with his apostles and he has the consolation of Moses and Elijah and his heavenly father. And there's a real strengthening of his life. But then when he comes down the hill, um, he's very upset. He's, he's even angry because it seems that there was a gentleman who brought a son who had a, a problem. He had a dropsy. He would fall down and even roll in fire at a terrible time. And the disciples weren't able to heal him. And Jesus is so upset. And his, his being upset is all centered on the word faith. He said, where's your faith? And again, at a, another time, he, he reassures us that if we have enough faith, we could move mountains. But it's that spirit that comes and looks at the apostles and says, where is your faith? You can do anything if you really believe. Oh, and it's so hard for us to believe that. Jesus reaches out and he's able to heal the boy. Um, he falls and it seems like he's dead. But then he is raised up and he's fine. The message today for me is the call to make sure that I'm a person of faith. So many times I can be a person who is religious. I, I, I say mass, I say the rosary, uh, I make the stations of the cross, I do all kind of religious things. And yet there's something even deeper than the religious exercises that I do. And it's the quiet moment of saying yes to Jesus, yes to faith, yes to the power of God to enter into our lives. What I'm asking you to do today after having heard this scripture reading, think about Jesus being concerned about having faith and make sure that maybe in the quiet of your own heart you listen to the Lord speaking to you and you say, Lord, I believe. And take all those prayers that you've been saying and let those prayers be founded on the deep, deep commitment of your heart and your soul to faith that God can work miracles in your life.